Hey guys, Jay back with you. Now the final thing of this evening. I've been doing this all day long. Um, I'm getting tired. I'm gonna make a blueberry cobbler. I know it called for a nine by nine pen. I don't have a nine by nine. I got an eight by eight. So again, observe, improvise, adapt, and overcome. So it is what it is. That's what we're doing. Basically, I have a cup of self-rising flour. <coughs> a cup of sugar. Half a cup of melted butter. And I hope this comes out. It called for a cup of milk. All I've got is buttermilk. It's a little bit short, so... It is what it is. It may be a little dry out. We're going to make it work anyway. And then it's a, uh, a teaspoon of vanilla. Make our batter. Again, it, it's going to be a little bit lumpy, and that's okay. Just want to make sure you don't have any great big lumps in there. Were y'all ever lucky enough to have your mom let you lick the beaters when she was making a cake? I was. Of course, they frown on that today. Oh, it's got raw stuff in here. You're done! I didn't have a problem. Alright, I got two cups of blueberries. We're just going to kind of sprinkle those on there. And I'm sure you can use any kind. You can probably use blackberries or raspberries or whatever you want. Strawberries. This is just what I had. Come back up. All right, then I'm going to dress those with a quarter of a cup of sugar. My oven is preheating to 350. As it comes up all right there perfect bake it for 45 minutes uncovered and then uh we're going to take a break we'll be right back okay so here we go we're going to try it out 
it shrunk up quite a bit after it cooled off. I don't know if you can tell or not. So I think putting it in that 8x8 pan probably screwed it up, but I ain't throwing it away. Pretty hot. Molten lava. Yeah, I think the uh, 8x8 tin was a mistake. It's hot, baby. Okay, let me tell you a story. This one time I went to Arkansas, saw a blade saw sitting on the seesaw, saw him with a hand saw, he outsaw or didn't saw I ever saw in Arkansas. I know that wasn't long enough, but dead gum. Early one morning, late one night, two dead boys got up to fight. Back to back they faced each other, drew their swords and shot each other. A deaf policeman heard the noise and came and shot the two dead boys. If you don't believe this song is true, ask the blind man. He saw it too. Mm. I'm gonna, it's definitely not trash. I'm not going to throw it away, but... Mm. It should have been cooked in a longer pan. Okay. That's it for this evening. Happy New Year, guys.